What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough. I almost said Platinum there, right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel. That's right. Expect Draven to make a lot of mistakes verbally, not physically, because I am awesome. Anywho, in our last episode, we actually completed the whole entire thing here in Cerulean City, especially in rounds 24, 25, what have you. Uh, managed to get the SS and ticket, and now... We're going to be going straight to Vermilion City. Uh, reason being is because my Pokemon are not completely trained. I don't want to, you know, do off-screen training right now. I don't really have the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the on-screen training. Battle quite a few trainers. And then after that, you know, you know, go back to Cerulean City and destroy everybody. Destroy everybody that we know. I'm just playing, guys. So let's go right ahead and uh, do what we have to do right here. Uh, we already completed everything. Now the only thing needed is going into the uh, the house right here that got robbed. And if you talk to everybody, it's, it, look at it. It just got ransacked right now. And uh, as you can see, Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Of course, they like to emphasize the dig. I wonder what they took. Uh, those miserable rockets. Look what they've done to my house. They stole ATM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle, it did! Huh. Okay, alrighty. Well, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here. So as you can see, there's a Team Rocket member waiting for us, and uh, we're going to be switching it up right here and going with uh, a little bit of a switch right now. As you can see, Hydra is in our team right now. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Pig Hammer's coming back. It's just... I got a little something to do before we go into Vermilion City. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. Hey, stay out! It's not your guard! Huh? Me? Oh, I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No. I don't believe anybody in black. You know, dressed in black with a big R on their chest. Don't really believe them at all. So here we go. Team Rocket Grunt comes out with his Machop, and I'm coming out with a Tornado. That's right. Let's go ahead and destroy this guy, Tornado. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, he's going with Leer. He, he thinks he's awesome right here. And, uh, let's go ahead and do that again. And, uh, wow, this Machop is pretty strong right now. And, uh, you know, even though it could have beaten me up right now, it, it chooses to up its stance. And, uh, it's a little too late for that right there. Look at that. Tornado destroys you. Gains a lot of experience points. And he's coming out with a Drowsy, so... That's a good Pokemon to use against Drowsy. Yes, let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla. The big guns. And, uh... Alrighty. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Let's go with that Ember attack. First Psychic type. First actual attacking Psychic type that we're battling. And, uh... It's pretty strong right here. So let's go with the Mega Punch. Hopefully that takes him out. And... Nearly takes him out. And here we go again with another Confusion. And, uh... Another Mega Punch will do this. Of course, I got Trigger Happy. Push that. I never use Mega Punch twice in a row, but as you can see, level 20, Godzilla, Godzilla. Hell yeah, and it's, lear it's learning Smoke Screen. Well, I'm not really going to use it, but it actually looks better than Growl right there, so let's go ahead and switch that out. And uh, look at that. Godzilla learned Smoke Screen. Alrighty, so what's next? Oh yes, he's not happy. Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly. Alright, you better leave, asshole. And he's like, okay, I'll return the TM I stole. And of course, we get the TM28. And uh, I better get moving. Bye! Okay, so after getting the TM28, let's just go back inside. Look how ridiculous this guy sounds. Watch. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett uh, how to do, or how to dig without a TM. Yeah. That's all that it took a Diglett. Jeez, okay, so he, he wasted a lot of money. A lot of money just to, uh, ju just to, you know. I, I, yeah, I'm not even going to complain about that because, seriously, you, you, you weren't thinking things through. Anywho, now, you got a few ways to get to Vermilion City. You got a few ways to get out of, you know, Cerulean City, I should say. One to Vermilion right here, and the other one to Cer Celadon, which, of course, we don't have the, t uh, the cut technique just yet, so we're going to be going right here. Now, one thing that I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to go to the daycare center right here. Believe it or not, guys, they still kept this part right here, this daycare, in Generation 3. So talk to this guy, and he's like, I run a daycare, Saris. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Yes, sir, I would. And that Pokemon happens to be Hydra, because I 
have no time whatsoever to actually do, uh, you know, switch battles. Now, unfortunately, this guy can only uh, raise one Pokemon. Just one. Trust me, guys, you will be able to find another daycare in this game uh, eventually, later on. Uh, it's just, you know, Hydra. Eventually, he'll be on our team for just a little bit, you know. I'm trying to capture as many Pokemon as possible, feature as many Pokemon as possible, guys. It's, uh, you know, the 10th year anniversary. Come on. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves Pit Camera. Hello, hello. And uh, let's move on. Let us move on right here. Of course, in this area right here, you can actually find quite a few Pokemon, you know. Uh, Bellsprout, Meowth, uh, and Leaf, or in Fire Red, Oddish, and Pidgey. You know, that kind of stuff. Now, if you try going into this entrance, you won't be able to go anywhere. The guy right here is like, I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the road is closed. So we can't do anything about that right now. Of course, that road leads to Saffron City. We all know how to get there, especially in Leaf Green. And if you go right here, the underground path that leads to Cerulean City and Vermilion City. All right, I don't need to read that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, right here now. If you talk to this girl, she's like, hi, do you have a Nidoran female? Want to trade it for a Nidoran male? Funny thing is, I do have a Nidoran female, but yeah, there's no need for me to trade. Um, yeah, or or should I? I don't even know. Whatever. Let's go and uh, let, let's go into the underground path and just take care of business right here. I believe there's quite a few uh, there is quite a few things that you can find under in the underground path right here, but. Let's see. I'm just checking out right now on my, my little page, my little booklet. Uh, no. All right, let's go. I'm just going to be pressing buttons right now, left and right, left and right, right here. I'm going to try and find something, right? Of course, I'm getting a little bored right here. Now, I wonder if this is going uphill or downhill. I don't know. And uh, here we go, coming out, and if you talk to this lady right here, people often lose things in the underground part of path. Yeah, that's what I was trying to locate, but yeah, that's a no-go right there. And here we are in Route 6, and we're going to be finding quite a few trainers around here. So much so that, you know what, I'm going to be training some of my Pokemon right now. Uh, let's see, Pokemon that I probably need in this, this, whole, this whole area right here. Tornado, Aaliyah, and everybody else. Okay. Bring it! Homeboy here is like, there aren't many bug Pokemon here. Okay. Not a lot of bugs. Okay. Let's do this. Bug catcher, Kigo. Coming out with his Weedle. And I'm coming out with Tornado because Tornado is awesome. And uh, let's go with uh, Peck Attack. And uh, look at that. Easy, easy. Easy battling right there. Alrighty. And, uh, oh crud, nearly grows. So I'm gonna keep on going with Tornado right here. I'm trying to get it to level 20 because we all know what it evolved into. And, uh, look at that, Weedle fainted. That's right. That's how you do it. And look at that, Tornado grows to level 16. Very strong Pokemon right there. And he's gonna, he's gonna be coming out with a Caterpie, so I'm gonna stay with my Tornado Caterpie. Of course it's Caterpie. <laughs> Caterpie. Caterpie. Caterpie, Caterpie, you know, it's kind of like tomato, tomato, it's the same thing. And, uh, well, you gotta love the string shot because, you know, it's lowering my speed every single time. And, uh, well, what's the benefit in that? You know, this is why, this is one of my biggest complaints. They don't evolve their, uh, their bug type Pokemon to their strongest form. It would be so much more of a challenge. More experience points! But no, Nintendo doesn't listen, and look at that. It's like, no, you're kidding! No, I'm not. I am not kidding. Alright, so moving on forward right here. Uh, let's see, this guy right here has a Squirtle, so let's go ahead and switch it out for my Aaliyah. Alrighty. Let's see. Who's there? Quit listening in on us! Um, not really listening in. I don't even know what you guys are talking to. So let's go ahead and uh, take on Camper Ricky. He's coming out with his Squirtle and uh, Aaliyah right here, looking like a badass out of hell. Going with that Thundershot. And uh, this squirrel right here is level 20, so it's a little stronger than usual. And, uh, oh crap, there's that bubble attack. Nobody takes my bubbles. Oh crap. Okay, so let's go again. Thundershock. Come on, Aaliyah. Ah, oh, shoot. And, uh, well, it doesn't really look like a water gun. It looks like a big ass bubble, and really? Oh, balls. Okay. 
Sir Razor, you're on. Yeah, I... I <laughs> not, not my finest moment right now, and yes, Squirtle is kicking our butts right now. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, not so effective. And as you can see, we're lowered in speed even more, so here we go with the Vine Whip. There it is. Suck it, Squirtle! And, uh, look at that. Sir Razor grows to level 16, and doesn't learn any new moves right there, because, you know, why not? And, uh, yeah, you just can't win. And, uh, Homeboy here afterwards, like, whisper, whisper. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go with Pig Cameron right here. And, uh, let's go ahead and battle this girl! Excuse me, this is a private conversation! Is it really? Really? Is it? And, uh, well, here we go. Pig Digger Nancy would like to battle, and she's gonna come out with a Radita. I'm going straight to Pig Hammer right here. Alright, time to counter some stuff. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, and there we go. Radita, easily defeated. Nice experience points. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and, uh, evade that with Sir Razor right here. Of course, this is all to train for uh, our second battle, our second gym battle against Misty, because if you guys remember, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Leaf Green, Fire Red, it, she's always tough. She's always tough, and, uh, you know, if you have a Pikachu or a Bellsprout, you can do so much with the Bellsprout, but with the Pikachu, it's not so much, and as you can see, you got paralyzed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let's go with the Bullet Seed, and oh, God. So this is one thing that I like about Pikachu. It likes its evasiveness and all that stuff. And it paralyzes us all at the same time. Yeah. And a critical hit. And here we go with one more. Not so much on the defense, but hey, you know what? Easy victory for us. There we go, Sir Razor. And, uh, well... She's like, she hates losing. Of course you hate losing! You're losing to me! Moochacha. Alrighty. Let's see, we already know what that guy comes out with. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go back with Hornito right here. I would revive a Leo, but yeah, not gonna happen right now. Let's see. Alright, so this guy obviously comes out with his uh he comes out with his uh Bells for he's one of the smart bug type trainers that actually evolves his Pokemon all the way. So let's see. I'm gonna use him you know, paralysis paralysis heal and all that stuff for Seracer. And then, there you go. Alright, you are healed now, my son. And, uh, well, bring it. So here we go. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Yes, sir, I am. Pokemon League Champion. 37 years counting. I'm just playing. <laughs> 37 years. How long is this? How long has Pokemon existed? I want to know. Here we go, and of course, Butterfree right here is very infamous for only having one attack and three effects on you. And, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're, we're getting our butts kicked right now. And, uh, there's that Supersonic that it would usually use afterwards. Here we go, we're awake! Oh, yes. And, uh, well, of course, the Supersonic is always gonna hit us somehow. And, uh, well, let's come on, come on, Tornado. There we go. Tornado is about to win right here, and, uh, let's see. Stun Spore, you gotta love it! Has to love it! Ah, oh, crap. Crap baskets. Alright, come on! Let's go, Tornado! Do it! Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, one of the biggest, uh, biggest issues right here is that this Butterfree will like to confuse you, paralyze you, put you to sleep, or even poison you. And, uh, that's what makes it so difficult to beat. But as you can see, not so hard right now. Alrighty. And there you go. Level 17. What now? Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Alright. We're too good. We are good. We are very good. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Who's next? Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm convinced. I am very, very convinced. So, let's go ahead and revive our, uh... Our Aaliyah, and of course we don't have any rides, so we're gonna use that rib candy that we found a, a few episodes ago, or just last episode. And uh, there you go, you're elevated to level 15. Wants to learn double team. So let's see what what move should we use. Um, okay, so huh? You know what? I'm not even gonna teach it right now. Okay, so come on, Aaliyah, stop being stubborn. 
Yes, okay. And, uh, of course, we gotta go with the super, super repel, or super, uh, uh, potion. And there you go. Aaliyah is nice and healed up right there. And, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, switch up our Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? Gotta use that last, uh, Paralyzer Heal. And, uh, there you go. You see? Pokemon maintenance. Pokemon to wellness and all that stuff. That's why I like taking care of my Pokemon. So here we go, our next trainer. We'll definitely have Pidgeys coming around, and he's like, me? Well, okay, I'll play. Let's go. Alrighty. So here we go, Picnicker Isabel would like to battle, and she is going to come out with her Pidgey. And I'm going to be uh, right here with Leah, revived. Alrighty, Thundershock. Oh yes. It's mean, it's, it's lean, it's mean. It's angry, and of course, there's that sand attack that we don't like. Come on! Let's go! And uh, of course, quick attack. You gotta love our defense. Probably what I should do, just increase the defense and uh, and, uh, and just win this whole thing right here. And uh, there you go. Alrighty, so we're picking up business, and... Uh... Alright, we're just gonna stay with Leah and uh, go with Thundershocks. Hopefully, you know, Benji doesn't use another su uh, sand attack. And look at that! Critical hit! That's how pissed off my Aaliyah is. In real life, she would be pissed off, too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, one more Pidgey. Bring it. So here we go. Another Pidgey. And, uh, wow. Quick attack, and, uh... Come on! Critical hit! Come on! Ooh, nearly makes it faint. So let's go with a quick attack of our own, and that is how you do it. My little Aaliyah is pissed off, and, uh getting some experience points right there. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, why didn't I name this Pikachu Sparky? Why did I name it Aaliyah? Well, it's because of my niece, Aaliyah. She loves Pikachu. She loves drawing Pikachu. Um, uh, if you guys haven't seen me on Instagram, I've had some of her drawings on there. She's a bit of an artist, and uh, you know what? Eventually, I will be featuring here. Uh, I will be featuring my niece right here onto my YouTube channel, and... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how much of her commentary you're gonna find out. She's gonna she's gonna blow you guys' uh, minds away. She's a she's a little <laughs> a little smarty pants. But as of right now, we're just gonna be doing our first few episodes of you know me by myself before she starts uh, talking about embarrassing moments that Uncle Draven has done. And uh, oh god, Spiro, defense and all that stuff. Here we go, Thundershock, victorious. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. And there's that little uh, level 16 going for us. And uh, and he's going to be coming out with Eradita. Eradicate, I should say. So I'm going to go straight to the other big guns, which is Thrasher. High defense. No fucks given. And, uh, well, there's that Eradicate. And what we're going to do right here is double kick it. That's right. It's super strong, it's fully evolved, and it will take all your HP away. Not all of it, though. And, uh, well, let's see. How... How did this Pokemon trainer evolve Eradita into Eradicate at level 16? I want to know that. Either that or the Pokemon, the, the Pokemon company did not think this through. And uh, there you go, level 19 Thrasher. Alrighty. He's like, this stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. What challenge? I mean, you just looked at me and I just battled. You know, trigger happy and all that stuff. Anywho, here we are, Vermilion City. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, guys. How you doing? And uh, there's quite a few things that you could do right here. Now, I know many of you guys are ex expecting me to trade uh, my uh, my tornado to the guy that sells it or that trades you a uh, farfetch. I will not be doing that. I'm actually going to do that in a separate episode once. Uh, let's see. Once I get every uh, every TM and HM. Actually, scratch that. Once I get every HM. I will be doing a separate episode of where to find traded Pokemon. So we're not doing any kind of far-fetched stuff. We're just going to be doing our our own thing right here. So first thing is first, guys. We're going to be going right here into the Pokemon Center. A to heal our Pokemon, and B to grab a little special item. Talk to this lady right here, and she will heal your Pokemon. That's right. Heal my Pokemon. That's right. Thank you for waiting. It's all been restored. And if you talk to this lady right here. The urge to, to battle with someone you've tangled, be, uh, tangled before. Have you ever had that urge? Uh-huh. I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. So I've been giving the, these uh, away. Please take one. And here we have a VS Seeker. 
Use that device and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. You have a ch you have to charge it, uh, its battery to uh, use it though. Now the VS Seeker is a very useful item to actually rematch anybody outside of caves or, or dungeons or you know locations and stuff. Uh, in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, it is a very very useful item to actually boost up your Pokemon's uh, you know experience, levels, and all that stuff. Get you to where you need to be before gym battles. I will not be using it right here though. Now if you talk to this guy right here. I'm the fishing guru! I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without! Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes sir, I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Here we have an old rod, which, uh, of course, you can fish for Pokemon. And, uh, you know, the only Pokemon you'll, you'll actually be able to fish for is a Magikarp. That's just about it, but... After a while, you'll be uh, you'll be getting some other better rods and all that stuff. Um, here we are in the Vermilion City, home to the Vermilion City Gem. Uh, if you guys remember, you can trade your Spiro right here in this house, I think, and uh, you can get yourself in what was it? Yeah, Farfetch. Now the next place we're going to be going to right here is the Pokemon Fan Club. All uh, Pokemon fans, welcome. We're gonna go right here because there's a little something that we need to get. Talk to the president. He's like, I. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fuzzy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am! So, did you come to visit and hear about my Pokemon? No, not really, but I came here for the little something you're gonna give me. Good! Then listen up. My favorite Pokemon, or my favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly, love it! Hug, hug it. When sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular. Ravishing. Whoops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And we find ourselves a bike voucher, which, you know, you can actually use to get yourself a bike. Take that bi or bike voucher to the uh, bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite po my favorite hero will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Eh, kinda. Somewhat. I don't even know. Okay, so what's next right here? Let's see. Vermilion City. Where, oh wait, I think this is the place where you actually trade your... Yeah, you trade your Spiro, your Spiro right here, guys. And I'm not going in there right now. Okay, so... Normally we would be done with this whole episode. Um, but I was thinking, instead of going into the SSN right here... We're going to be going straight to the next route, and we're going to be battling a buttload of trainers. Now, let's see, let's read this. Notice! Route 12 may be blocked off by a sleeping Pokemon. Detour through Rock Tunnel to Lavender Town. Vermilion Police. And, uh, we're here in Route 11. This is the Diglett's Cave, which we will be going to eventually. What we're going to do right now is we're going to be battling every trainer right here in Route 11. And then, uh, after that, in the next episode, mm-hmm. We're going to be taking care of the SSN, so let's go ahead and battle everybody. Let's go ahead. And we're grabbing an Awakening right now. And, uh, yes, we're going to try and evolve every single one of our Pokemon. Or try and, you know, get them stronger to defeat the next gym leader. You know, that kind of stuff. So the next Pokemon that we're going to be going up against is uh, Ekid. So, you know what? Let's go straight to Godzilla, Godzilla. Bring it! This guy. Let's go! Don't cheat! Okay, I won't cheat. I will not cheat. You will not cheat. So here we go. Going up against Youngster Eddie, and he's coming out with his Ekans. And I'm gonna just have a fun time destroying this guy. All these Pokemon are around level 20s, or, you know, close to the level 20. So this should be a good challenge for all of you guys right here. And, uh, oh, there's that fight attack. We're gonna go with the Ember attack just to destroy you. And, uh, there's another bite attack. The bite attack continues. There we go. Ekans defeated. That's right. Experience points. You gotta love it. You has to love it. Alrighty. And uh, he's like, huh, that's not right. You know what's not right? You only have one Pokemon. Now, let's see. I'm gonna be switching it up right here. Going to Aaliyah because she needs more experience points. And we're gonna be going up against this guy right here. And he's like, win, lose, or draw. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go with uh, Gamer Hugo, and he's going to be coming out with his Poliwag. Now remember guys, in the original versions, this guy was Gambler. 
since this is, uh, you know, going towards the masses of a PG, kind of uh, masses and all that stuff, yeah, he's been changed to gamer because, you know, gambling's all bad and all that stuff. It's not like you've never gambled before. I, I may have dabbled once or twice in gambling and lost it in five minutes. That's why it's never good to gamble sometimes, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to be switching it up right here to Sir Razor because it needs some loving, too. And, uh, alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. Just bring it. Horsey's coming out. And I'm going to go with a uh, Vine Whip, but of course, Horsey is faster than my Pokemon. Not going to love that. Here we go. Vine Whip for the win. There we go. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, there you go. Level 17. Yeah, Sir Razor's looking pretty good, and it's learning Poison Powder, so what we're going to do right now is, uh, let's see, let's see. You know what, I think I'm going to need Poison Powder more than Sleep Powder. Eventually, we will be using, uh, what was it, Stun Spore. Don't worry, guys, that's the next move. I know what I'm doing. It's a good combo move right now. Didn't go your way right now. Okay, so I'm going to go in order of what this booklet is giving me. So number, or letter C right here waiting for me and uh, what we're gonna do is switch him up and go with Sir Razor. Alrighty. Bring it! I just became a trainer! But I think I can win. You think? Or you know? We will find out. Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. And he's coming out with his sand true. Now believe it or not guys, around this area you will be able to find sand trues. They are very common so if you guys want a sand true, it's right here. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Fire Red, Ekans is the Pokemon that you should be able to find right here. So if you're an Ekans fan, Sandshrew fan, you know, it's right here. Just remember that. And, uh, well, there's that Scratch deck that we don't like. And here we go. Vine Whip. For the win. That's right. Sir Razor kicking butt everywhere it goes. And it's coming out with a Zubat, so let's go with a deadly combo of Aaliyah. Remember that name, guys. Aaliyah. And, uh, well... Coming out with the Zubat. Let's go with the Thundershock. For the win. Oh yeah. Nearly took its head out. And uh, no Supersonic for you. So here we go. Thundershock. For the win. Oh yeah. How does it feel to fail? Not so good. Not so good at all. And uh, look at that. We're just beating everybody. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's see got another trainer right here, so let's go ahead and give some loving to Godzilla Godzilla. And so we're just going to be waiting on this guy just running around right here. Now, a lot of you guys would normally see me do sections of these Pokemon games. Hold on. I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. That is true. Anywho, like I was saying guys, normally you'd see me do uh, every single part of this region by section by section, but since this is a weekend, ga a weekend game only, I'm going to try and get as many things done right here um, in one single episode. So most of these episodes will be like around 20, 30 minutes, I don't know, however long your, uh, your, your attention span stays with me and all that stuff. It will be fun, guys. We'll be doing a lot more stuff here than we did in our previous episodes, especially, uh, or in our previous walkthroughs attempts with this game right here. And uh, he's going to be coming out with a neat arena, so I'm going to stick by with my good old Godzilla because it needs more. So let's see. Let's go with the Mega Punch. There we go. Mega Punch for the win. Nearly takes him out, and there's that poison scene. Did we. Okay, so I was about to say. Hopefully we did not lose uh, all of our uh, all of our uh, antidotes, and there he comes with the double kick right here. Alrighty, let's go. Ember attack for the win. Suck it, Nidorino. Suck it. And uh, there we go. Level 21, Godzilla. Alrighty, it's looking pretty strong right now. My team's looking pretty decent. It really is. Alright, so who's next? Who is next? Alright, so you know what? I'm going to go down here now. I love the song right here. It's very, very classic. And crap. Forgot to switch out my team. Watch out for live wires. Okay, so this Pokemon trainer right here has a team of Magnemites and Magnetons. So I'm going to be battling these guys. And I complete. Oh, wait, never mind. I didn't switch out. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Holy crap. 
And uh, luckily, in Generation 3, Steel-type Pokémon do exist, so hello, hello, Fire-type Pokémon for the win. And uh, he's going to be coming out with another uh, Magnemite, so I'm just going to sweep the crud out of him with just Ember attacks. Here we go, Ember for the win, and uh, it survives. And uh, there's that Sonic Boom, holy crud. Okay, so I'm going to do this one more time. Yeah, it, it has a base attack of 20, and I so happen to have 26 <laughs> That is, uh, that is usually fun. So, I'm gonna switch it out right here with, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Pig Hammer. Just because it needs more experience points. You know, a little more loving. That kind of stuff. Taking on an evolved form, which I don't know how he got a level 18, uh, Magneton. But, you know what? Fighting types, stronger than Steel types right here. And, uh, this guy knows it's Thundershock. And, uh, wow. It packs a wallop right here, and there we go, Pig Hammer wins it! Nearly faints, but wins it! Grows a level 16, a level well earned. There we go. And he's trying to learn Fury Swipes, okay. Uh, useful or non-useful non move, but it is, what, it is what it is. So there we go, switching it out, and there you go. Alrighty. And that's all the Pokemon people. Alrighty, okay, yes I am a spark plug, whatever that means. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Gotta use these because, uh, you know, very useful items, I should say. And uh, one more wouldn't help for this pick camera right here because, uh, yeah, there are pretty strong Pokemon right here. And uh, let's go with the Super Potion for Godzilla, Godzilla. And uh, our next trainer will be a Grass type trainer right here. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's go switch it to Vol a Tornado. I want to evolve Tornado into a Fero in this episode, so let's see if we can actually do that. So this guy right here is like, competition, I can't get enough! Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go, going up against Gamer Jasper, and he's coming out with his Bellsprout. Alrighty. Just bring it. Here's my Tornado. Tornado with the Peck Attack. Oh yes. Takes all, almost takes all his HP and, uh, oh crud. There's that Rap Attack that we don't like still hurting us. Why would you do that to us? Why? So there we go. Victorious. Alrighty. And, uh, well, he's gonna come out with an honor, so let's go ahead and stay with Tornado right here. And, uh, here we go. Heck attack. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, uh, Rudd. I did forget that Oddish does know any, uh, does know Sleep Powder. It is a grass type, so come on! Let's go, Tornado. Wake up. Wake the F up. And I don't know why you're using Sweet Scent. I really don't. Why would you use Sweet Scent? Hello? And there we go. After one turn, let's go with that Peck Attack. For the win. Fatality. Alrighty. Alrighty. And uh, that is how you defeat Gamer Jasper. And I had a chance. <laughs> yeah, not, not much of a gamer. You're more of a gambler. You know, foreshadowing and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch it back to Godzilla, Godzilla, and uh, take care of business right here. So let's grab this. We found ourselves an X-Defend. Nice move to up your defense, and let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Careful, I'm laying down some cables! Eh, yeah, well, what, what you gonna do about it? So here we go, going up against Engineer Braxton, and he's coming out with his only Pokemon, Magnemite. Alrighty. I can do this. Ember attack. Oh yes. Oh, oh crud. Survived. And uh, yeah, it still it, it still knows Thundershock. And uh, well, there we go. Ember attack. Victorious. Alrighty. That's how you do it. That is how you do it, guys. And uh, look at that. Level 22 Godzilla. So my Pokemon are growing up pretty well. I could say that, you know, we might defeat Misty just a little bit easier. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so, let's see. We're gonna be going straight to the Gambler right there. I mean, a Gamer. And, uh... Well, he does have some, uh, let's see. He does have some Fire-type Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch him out with the man that can do the job right here. He's pretty resistant to Ganem. And here we go. I've never lo I've never won before. Huh. Man, you got some uh, very 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 pitiful pitiful Pokemon if you if you if 
never won, and of course he doesn't because he has himself a Growlithe. First time we're seeing this Pokemon right here. And uh, look at that, Intimidate doing that thing. So here we go, Rock Tomb. Very effective, super effective against this guy. And uh, nearly takes him out. No, this guy's speed's fallen. And uh, well, there's that bite attack right there. And so here we go again with another Rock Tomb. Oh yes. Alrighty, it's the Rock Tomb Show. Featuring Thrasher, the Nido King. And uh, he's gonna be coming out with another Volt, or he's gonna be coming out with a Volt Pick, so let's go ahead and stick with Crash right here. And let's go finish this guy off with a Rock Tomb. There we go. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, there goes your speed. I'm so sorry. And, uh, Crud. There's that Will O Wisp, and I don't think I have a Burn Heal with me. And, uh, oh, Crud. Okay, so now. Now, now we're, we're kind of uh, facing something right here. And, uh,. Oh, there it is. And your poison. You see? Karma. Karma, it happens. See what happens? And there we go. And nearly makes this Pokemon fan. Of course, remember, when you're burned, it lowers your attack. So just, uh, you gotta be aware of that. But you know what? Poison takes care of it. And uh, Dorian is like, man, I saw this coming. You did. Then you should probably retire from Pokemon training probably should. Now go right here and you'll find yourself another escape rope which is good and uh, let's see we have uh, two more trainers that we have to battle right here so let's go right ahead and uh, prepare for this last guy he does have some Rattata so let's go and switch him out to Pig Hammer right here and uh, let's see what happens alright come in here here he is! I'm the best in my class! I train every morning okay all right, senior douchebag, let's see what you got. Youngster Yasu coming out with his Radita. Okay, bring it. Just bring it. And, uh, well, let's see. Low kick. That's my purse. I don't know you. Doesn't take him out, but, you know, it does something. And, uh, crud, there is that Hyper Fang. So let's go Karate Chop, finish this guy off right here. So annoyed. Hyper Fang is very, very strong. It's very scary. <laughs> And uh, well, coming out with another Rattata, so I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a risk and uh, take this Rattata out with a Karate Chop. And uh, there we go. I should probably stick with Karate Chops. Seems to be the strongest move that it has right now. And look at that, Big Hammer grows to level 17, and uh, he's coming out with the Raticate. I am going to risk it. Bring it. Let's go, Big Hammer. You got this. And uh, oh shoot. So Raticate right here is weakening the defense. It must be planning something. And Crud nearly wins. Not going to risk it. I am going to switch to Sir Razor right here. What's it gonna do? Nothing. It won't hurt me. There's that quick attack. And here goes the Vine Whip and you miss! Ha <laughs> ha! Alrighty. Wasn't gonna sacrifice Sir Razor just like that. And uh, look at that. Sir Razor. Grows to level 18. We all know what happens right here, right, guys? I don't know. And we've defeated Youngster Yasu. Darn, my Pokemon need to be stronger! They do. They really do. And, uh, crap. I, I, I actually thought that it was going to evolve. <laughs> okay, so we got one more trainer. Let's go ahead and uh, switch him out right here. Even though it's a little bit weak right now. Let's see if we do have a burn heal. Let's see. No? We do have a lot of repels. Um... Okay, so the best case scenario is just to heal it up with a, with a potion and just get, uh, yeah, just just get stronger. That's all we need to do. So let's see, going to pick hammer, giving it its potion and all that stuff, and uh, we're gonna be taking care of business right here. Now there's an item right here we think we can get. Get ourselves a great ball, and uh, now let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. I've never lost. Huh. You've never lost. Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. Humunga Dunga. Coming on with Dirk. He's coming with his Voltorb. Okay. And, uh, still a little burnt. But, let's see. Rock Tomb should do it. It probably should do it. And yes, you get poisoned. Everybody gets poisoned, whoever attacks me. And there we go, with the Rock Tomb attack. And it, well, it, it almost does the job right there. Could have done a little bit more because yeah, it's still burnt. 
still a little burnt, but you're getting hurt because you're poisoned. So we're both suffering right here, and here we go one more time with the rock tomb. Damn it! Okay, so it would have won. And, uh, oh crap. So there's that Sonic Boom that we didn't like, and we're getting hurt. Everybody's getting hurt! Jesus, crap me. Alright. Rock tomb. Crap! Okay. Oh crap. Okay. I thought he was going to use Sonic Boom. That would have been the smart move right there. Because that would have happened, and I would have fainted right there and then. So there you go. Voltorb's been defeated. I stay alive, and it grows to level 20, which is good. And he's going to be coming out with his Magnemite. So let's go straight to the man that can do the job right here. Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this. Magnemite. Alrighty. So we go with an Ember attack, and uh, there we go. Easy victory. Not so, not, not so hard right there. So, as you can see, we defeated uh, his. Well, we're his first loss, and he, you know, he's not so cocky anymore. He just started, probably. You were just lucky. That's all. Whatever. Okay, so we defeated every trainer in this area right here, guys. That's that was pretty much the plan. In the next episode, we will be going to the SSN and uh, battling everybody else. And I know many of you guys are thinking that you know I'm gonna keep this team. No, I'm not, guys. Trust me. There's uh, so many more plans uh, for this team, especially for the Pokemon involved. Now, as you can see, you can't go anywhere around here because there is a Snorlax uh, waiting for us right here. Very annoying. Now, one time, one time when I was a, uh, you know, when I was playing Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, off screen, you know, with the regular Game Boy Advance, I do remember sleeping on uh, <laughs> around this area, like literally sleeping for eight hours, and then when I woke up. There was no, uh, I guess there was no Snorlax, there was nothing. Especially when I didn't even earn the, the second or third badge. I think there's an effect when you have the hours, like when when you keep the game on for so long, I think these Pokemon disappear. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think if that's ever happened to you before. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it for that guy. And uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to end it right here. We've already done our job. We've already beaten everybody. And we do have the VS Seeker, so we can battle any one of these trainers uh, as many times as we want. And, uh, yeah, the next the next adventure will be the SSN, so can't wait for that one right there, guys. So stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going to the SSN and uh, beating so many, so many more trainers out here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.